Hi, I'm Hossam Delay, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn how we can use date picker in Xamarin Forms. So, date picker as it's used to uh, set some date for a meeting or for uh, some task to be executed. So, for that, here I have a home page which contains XAML uh, code. Here I have stack layout and uh, a label. And here I'm gonna put my uh, date uh, picker. So by, by just inserting the date picker, you get that, um, that user control rendered uh, natively for each platform. And now for the date picker, I have some uh, additional options that I can use which are, for example, the minimum date. So here you set a minimum date that the user can pick. So for example, if you want your user to not be able to uh, fix a meeting before the date of today. So here you can specify uh, the date, let's say. So for example, today it's 3-8-2016. And also I can fix the maximum date, let's say, for example, it's no longer than uh, two months from now, so let's say it's 5-8-2016. Uh, uh, so now let's render our let's run our application and see how it behaves. So here it is for my uh, Android device. So here the um, the date picker for uh, Android device. So here I cannot say, as you see, all the previous dates previous to the date of today are disabled. I cannot choose one of these, and also I cannot choose a date um, superior to the date of um, two months from now. So all of these are uh, disabled. I can only um, use one of the dates within the range I have specified be between the minimum uh, and the maximum date the same here and also the same for the Windows Store application so now let's say I have choose a date then I want to get that value in my code and show it inside my user interface here for that, I have introduced this label called main label. So for the button, for example, you use the event, click it. But for the date picker, you uh, choose the date selected event, which will be raised whenever you uh, pick a date from your uh, date picker. So here, Resharper um, generated that event for me. And here, I have the date changed event args which contains two values which are the new date and the old date so here I can access the old date but now I want to get the new date that the user chooses and then I want to show it inside my label page call it a main label so I go to the main label dot text and set its value to the date chosen. So here I get an error saying I can't convert between date time to uh, to string. For that I'll have to um, call to string so that I can get uh, the value chosen by the user. Now control F5 for faster debugging. So here are our three applications. Now I choose one of the values for the Windows emulator. Now here it is the value is shown below.
the same for my uh, Windows application and for Windows Store application also the value is uh, shown here so this is a way to do it but I want also to remind you about using the X reference that I talked about in a previous uh, video so using the, the X reference you won't need this uh, event handler so I'll go and delete it and also delete it from my code behind here and instead, instead of that I'll go and add uh, the text property to the main to my label and I will try to access the date picker using the source here and using also X reference here I have to um, to get a name for my date picker so that I can use it so that I'll go and give it a name let's say it's main date picker for example so now when I go to the X reference here I get the name my main date picker and for the binding and now I can get all the properties of the main date picker I'll go and choose the date property now let's run this again and see it in action so those are two ways so either you fire the event or if you if what you you want is just to show its value inside a label or inside uh, a text box then um, doing this in one line of code is um, i think is uh, just uh, very easy for you to do So here are our applications. So now I go and so here it, it uh, because it does binding to this element, it shows me the value already here. So I go and choose another one. 18. So here it is. And now let's try it here. Yeah. Let's choose another value for Windows application. And yeah. As you see here it is the um, calendar uh, user control working for all the platforms uh, supported by uh, Xamarin Forms here. So thank you.